Okay, the duel is getting done. Probably build more stools down here. While well, we still can. And then we need to smooth out this entire area. Okay, so now the real question is where I'm gonna put the doors. Got enough space for another group of houses up here, so we can put them on the top side. Smoke leaf plus psychic drone equals safety. Although one of my guys may have been a teetotaler. Whoops. Yep. In fact, you're chemically interested. Um. Smoke leaf, ambrosia, and beer, whatever. We could have put everyone on that, actually. Might help to keep everyone happy. But I don't want them to get, like, um, addicted or rely on it too much and their tolerance goes up. I'll leave it for now. We'll just keep it for emergencies, except for our chemical interested people because they're just a pain in the ass when they don't have their drugs. Flipping smoke leaf is being chewed up by this damn rhino. <sighs> okay, maybe I should take care of it now. These guys are all armed, right? Yeah. Eh, you know, there's people just break down and they drop their weapons and then. To, you forget to re-equip them. Eating timber wools. How many? No oh dear. That's not good. Come on, quickly. No, puppies. Glad I'm not stuck in there. Thank <laughs> you. 
when the poor person uh, next appears on the map. <laughs> like, wow, they're gonna get hurt so badly. Oh, they gave birth to some puppies. Nice. James Jam is on a work frenzy. Our comms console is up and running. It's wunderbar. Wait. Oh, because they're in the Citadel now. Ah, man. Um... I'm gonna have to make a new area. Nice for me to... I could copy an area. Ah, oh, man, this music's nice. Nice to actually be able to listen to the combat music without having to worry, without having to worry about combat. Another man on the back. <laughs> I wonder if they'll attack the other wolves. <laughs> this will be fun. I've never had two man to packs with different animals before. It looks like they're just leaving each other alone. It's a little disappointing. Oh well. Can you imagine manhunting cobras? How terrifying that would be. Nothing hell. One cobra is bad enough, right? Oh yes, a raid. <laughs> I hope they get attacked. Brutally. I 
I should probably get my people in place as well. But if they break through my defenses, all the manhunters are going to come through as well. Okay, well, let's see what happens. I was hoping the Cobras would come around. Oh, maybe they are. I, c I can't really see them very well. Oh, they are. Awesome. Best raid ever. <laughs> I don't want to look at these guys' stats because if any of them are good, I'm going to cry. And I'm not, I don't want to go through this. Hell no. My guys are breaking down. Guarding. Um, I'm also going to keep a prisoner. 24 days. But the prisoner has blood rot. Sure. <laughs> I don't know why they dropped them down over there, but whatever. Ship landing beacon. Can I put it inside? Marks the corner of a landing area. Four of these places the corners of a clear area. Minimum 9x9. Nine nine. Create a landing pad. Spacecraft usually land on pads if possible. Sure. Has to be nine by nine. Masterwork, wooden stool. <laughs> uh, it's a bit of a pity. So obviously, if I put one inside my base, it's not going to come crashing through the thick roof, right? Um, yeah.
but I kind of like the dark area in here. Makes me a bit paranoid about invasions. Actually, here yeah, we can probably have more rooms, so yeah. I think I'm going to make another area. Call it Manhunters. Well, obviously we're now Manhunters. Whoops, wrong button. I pray my dogs and stuff can still haul and whatever. Then again, they should be fine because the doors are blocked, right? Stack my economists. Yeah. Not unrestricted, it's nine animals. Oh, well, I guess it's time to find out. I'm pretty sure they won't. Should be fine. Ah, I think all the cobras are gone. Right? There's one left. It's probably leaving right now. So the music stopped. Awesome. Allow all of this crap. Another bolt action rifle. Ooh, a heavy SMG. Not bad, not bad. That's fine, I don't mind they're eating the raw food as well. They can do that, whatever. As long as they're not touching the meals, it's fine. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. Fortunately, another rhino is coming to my zone. Need to finish building that wall. Man, but I'm so happy about that raid. Ugh. Wow, the manhunters were still there. Mwah. Beautiful. If I try to take on those manhunters, I would have gotten attacked by those cobras as well and then the raid. Oh my word, that would have been stressful as F. Phase. Looking a little dirty. K 
Katia. Katia? You have 12.9 resistance, okay. This guy is at least comfortable. Also, we should probably build proper beds for the animals. Um, nature? Visitor, we'll check them out now. Where are they? Monkey. Great. Food poisoning. I know Tay sucks, but oh well. Nutty mega slots. Um, that's fine. Um, <laughs> um sure. I'll take your pemmican and you take my knives and other junk. Okay, let's look at this, this quest. Six man hunting mega stars, and it'll give me six Janissaries. <gasps> An auto bombardment targeter. Yeah. I'm gonna accept this, but first I wanna get these rooms done. But they have a place to stay. Take that on pretty easily, especially with our setup now. You don't even have to worry about them. And for an orbital bombardment targeter? Awesome. So something I've been wondering about is machine pistol. So a pist auto pistol compared to a normal revolver. Damage 10, okay, and a normal revolver? I don't have one in storage. I know I've got one on no people. Uh, what about a normal revolver? Okay, that's a good one, whatever. That's fine. 12 damage. And then a machine pistol? 6. But obviously it has burst shots of 3. <laughs> what about a heavy SMG? Okay, so a heavy SMG is just better than a pistol, except for range, of obviously. You got a chain shotgun, let's keep that. You can take a heavy SMG. You've got a machine pistol already. Oh, I, I thought that wasn't by code for a second, and I was like, oh my word, is that what I think it is? Uh, we don't have a good, any other good quality weapons, do we? That's fine. 
Got a revolver, that's cool. Oh, you got a normal revolver. You can take the machine pistol, I guess? No, 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 no. You got, got another pump action, sh bolt action rifle, sorry. And a silver meteor, awesome. It's a little far, but hey. <laughs> they haven't even built anything. I think they delivered materials to a dress and a table, and that's it. Whatever. Is that because he's smearing the walls here? Uh, no. What the hell is this guy doing? I'm always wondering what my builders are doing, because they always seem like they're doing nothing. Well, he's doing stuff, I guess. Whatever. I mean, in the distances are quite long as well, so that makes it take more time. I've never actually used an orbital bombardment target there. So kind of excited to use one. Okay, well at least we've got two beds. That should be enough beds for all of these guys. drop their weapon. <laughs> Damn it. Always double check that just in case maybe one of them forgot. And uh, power. So are these guys gonna do anything else? Oh, they can. Um, they can all help with smoothing stuff while they're here. Before I forget, Cool. 
These guys are probably wondering why the hell are they instead of making me construct and we had to fight and die. But I mean, then again, they can't complain because they're pretty much told, "Oh, you're expendable. Go die." Poor quality. That kind of sucks. Oh well. Let me actually do this because yeah, I don't want them to do that. I just want them to smooth stuff. If the manhunter slots go away, I wonder if I failed the quest. Guess it's time to find out. One of them I should set to clean. Yeah, this guy. Wow, these haven't even been planted yet? That's not good. Who is our planter? General. But he's also our handler, that's why. And also the Terby. But she's also our warden. Okay. I would like to have a dedicated planter. That might be you. Nope. Damn it. So Taze, what's your cooking skill now? Five, okay. So it's actually going to nap quite quickly. So before you cook that, why aren't you using the electric stove? Whatever. I say whatever, but I'm kind of annoyed that he isn't. Oh, just two more mega slots. I mean, these guys didn't smooth out much, but eh, better than nothing.
Woohoo! Easiest quest ever. What if I get a bonus if they all survive? I've never actually had them all survive before. No, damn. You should actually get a bonus. Like a good world bonus or something. Yeah, once these walls are done, they'll be very useful for the man eaters as well. Then we also have this area to farm at. And then if they do break through, because of a raid, we can fall back down here. Alright guys, um, my sister's is gaming, um, oh no, incapable of violence, oh, but you, ah, oh. can't do planting. And I don't like the psychite addiction, so we'll probably keep this person in a prison. Oh wait, what faction? Okay. I don't know if this person will make it, but we'll try. I mean, they're pretty useful besides the fact that they can't hurt anyone. Resistance. Oh, there's zero resistance. <laughs> wow. I just want this to go away. I mean, those are pretty good stats, except for that. Oscar was raised in an illegal underground organ farm. His body was used to grow organic implants for wounded mercenaries. Though his upbringing has left him haunted, it has also given him a unique understanding of human biology. Okay. Um, Oscar was educated in liberal arts and taught at a public school. He was widely knowledgeable and well liked by his students. I mean, I can't say no to someone with a passion for crafting.
How's this guy doing with his blood rot? Okay. How does blood rot work? Because it is going up, but there's no immunity. When they treat it, does it just go down? I'm a little curious about it. And while I'm doing this, um, yeah, look for a file quick. Sorry, guys. Um, let's do this. 